Hi, I'm Bob Mover, and I am the founder of the Lower Manhattan Music Studio. I've been touring and playing jazz for uh, over half a century now. And I was fortunate and to have gotten to know and to play with many of the greats of the music. But there were some that I, you know, was just born too late to get to know and have been very curious about knowing who they were and what kind of people they were. One of those people that I've really been extremely curious about through the years was Clifford Brown. I asked Sonny Rollins once about Clifford and he said that uh, Clifford was an angel, he, he put it, he was an angel too good to live in this world. So years later, I was on tour with Art Farmer in Belgium and the local band who preceded us was very excited and went on way over time, far longer than they should have played or were supposed to play. Um, this turned out to be good because it gave me an extra 45 minutes in the dressing room with Art. We had warmed up and I had a chance to ask him a lot of questions that I wanted to ask him about a lot of things. And one of those subjects was Clifford. And Art told me a story that surprised me um, and revealed an aspect of Clifford's character that I hadn't been aware of. The story involved uh, when they were on tour with Lionel Hampton's band in the 1950s. And uh, Lionel had a band manager who was extremely sadistic, a real bully, as Art put it, and would pick on the weaker, what he perceived to be the weaker people in the band. And one of these people that he would really lay into was Gigi Grice. And Gigi and Clifford were extremely close. And uh, it finally got to the point they were on the band bus one day, Art said. And the band manager started laying into Gigi. And Clifford had just had enough. And as Art said, uh, dear sweet Clifford pulled out a ship, pulled out a knife, and held it right under the band manager's throat and said, listen, man, the next time you bug my friend Gigi and pick on him, I'm going to cut you. Didn't threaten to kill him or anything, just threatened to slice him, to give him something to remember him by. And he said, at that point, the band manager never bothered Gigi anymore. And the whole band broke into applause um, for Clifford's valiant actions, action. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the story that Art told me. If you enjoyed this story, I thank you for watching. And please give us a like give on social media and follow us for more stories like this and also some educational, uh, informative videos that I plan and to do. Um, you can go to LowerManhattanMusicStudio.com to... Uh, sign up for lessons, online lessons, and some limited in-person lessons on any instrument, on any level from beginner to professional. Thanks again for watching and feel free to leave any comments you like.